Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today's video is called INFJ Personality Type and Flow. So lately I've been thinking a lot about this one really big idea I've had for a really long time. I've been honestly obsessed. There's been nothing but this idea in my head for like weeks now. And uh, you know, this idea it encompasses really the whole world, all of humanity. I want to help all of humanity with this project that I had. It's like, it's not an actually uh, like a practical project or a company or a, it's more like an idea or a belief that I believe that will make life a lot easier for people who are struggling. I've been really feeling lately that uh, an increased sense of acceptance of you know the human condition you know we all have our struggles we all have our feelings and ultimately I feel everybody is just searching for acceptance and love so my theory is uh, really about making people find acceptance of self and of other and really thinking about how the world can be reshaped to better serve the needs of humanity. I believe today's world has really come to neglect human needs in favor of business needs or practical needs or uh, needs that have nothing to do with you know, being alive or being happy or having flow or enjoying life. So this is something I've come to think about a lot and I really I want to uh, dedicate the rest of my life to putting this to practice. I want to think about ways to engage other people and share this thought with other people. My hope is if I can meet as many people as possible, I can make a difference. I can make something better for other people. And, uh, you know, the more I think about this, uh, like the bigger it becomes. Like when I started thinking about it, it was just like this one idea, but then I started thinking, how can I put this to practice? I've been working more and more to put my ideas to practice. I know sometimes I get so caught up in the abstracts, but now I'm realizing that I need to also understand people's personal situations, where they are, what they are doing, and I need to think about, okay, how can I apply these ideas to people's situation, wherever they are in life or whatever they are working on? I must think, how can I solve their problems? Giving to other people is one of the best things to me. I feel the happiest when I can help others. I tend to put other people's needs before my own, but I often don't feel that bad about it. Because a lot of times the needs of other people are the needs of myself. That means when I can help other people, I feel happier, I feel more calm, I feel more in control, I feel life is better and I feel I am rewarded for it. I do believe in some degree in karma, you know, that good deeds come back to you, you know. What you give to the world, the world also gives back. The world is all about intention and good intention. So it's not just about, you know, the practical action for me. It's also about making sure I have the right intention. Something I've come to realize, and you know, this came from introverted feeling. It was that if I do something, the right thing, for the wrong reason, a lot of time it will give me bad karma. If I give and spread bad intentions to the world, even if I think I'm doing something practically good, I am making the world a worse place. So I have come to understand that I have to check my intentions, I have to check my energy, I have to listen to and understand where I'm coming from to make sure that I'm coming from a source of good because, you know, even anybody can get caught up in a bad mood or can get caught up in hostility or stress or tension. And if I'm, for example, doing good because I'm ashamed of people, ashamed of if, because I'm worried about my image, I'm going to spread an energy of shame into the world. So it's also about like thinking about what you put in the cup, what do you give to the world and why do you give it? You have to make sure that you're doing it out of love and care, not out of fear of having a bad image or looking bad to other people. So this has become something I've been thinking more and more about. But I'm realizing as well, it's not just about thinking about it, it's also about you know working towards it, and dedicating time to it and focus. So I've been getting more and more focused. Uh, 
really I can spend hours and hours writing now and just summarizing my thoughts and putting it all out there and making sure it happens and comes together and I love seeing it all come together I love seeing how like I've gone from like these small scratches you know videos and things here and there to like this whole big picture project that encompasses so much from YouTube to my own website to uh, you know projects for books and uh, like to meetups in Amsterdam where I organize events and uh, just realizing the progress I made I'm very happy with myself and proud of myself for my accomplishments yeah really proud I haven't felt that before I've always felt I was not good enough but now I feel proud and I think as an INFJ in flow I think it's all about doing what you do as an INFJ following your cognitive process and learning to love it and uh, to find and see the love and joy in it because if you do it out of stress or anxiety it's not really going to be you it's not really going to be what you are truly capable of you have something deeper inside of you that can only come off when you are ready to be and love yourself thanks for watching and hope this helped you understand INFJ a little bit better